Welcome to Cocktails and Conversation. My guest today is Aaron Jones, who is the founder of Treason Toting Company, a guy I've gotten to know over the last couple of years because every all sorts of parties that I cover, all the cool ones, I'm you're always, always there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Good to be cool. We're also in a really cool place. Absolutely. Which, which, uh, the Elk Room, which I understand is a real favorite haunt of yours. Definitely, definitely. Some of the best bartenders in the city, uh, they sling cocktails here, and one of my favorite is the Boulevardier. Um, nicely sweet, but nicely boozy at the same time. Well, Andrew made me a Ten Tigers. Wow, that's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Jesus. And And they were telling me it's turmeric-infused Jennifer, which is a type of gin, mm -hmm. and then it's got coconut milk, orange juice, and a little bit of habanero wow. in it, too. So. Cheers. Cheers. Take yeah. a sip and then we'll get to really chat. Let's do this. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm. I understand that, like, now treason toting is kind of going, undergoing some transition. Yeah. So, yeah, um, when I started, you know, like, and I, I was identifying having a brand or a business as like a baby, right? Like, when it's an infant, it only, the, all it does is cry, it really doesn't walk or anything. Um, you can still have a job with an infant sometimes, not in real life, but <laughs> business life, right? Right, right. And then like once, uh, you know, once we were invested by Sagamore, Sagamore Ventures, um, it kind of grew legs, it grew a head, it grew arms, it had all these needs and wants. Um, and we were trying to make sure we can fulfill it, make sure we can feed it, make sure yeah. that it works. Um, and now I think, I feel like it's at its, it's at its teenage phase now, right? Like, ooh, those are the tough years. The tough years, but it's it's the ones that like where where you you know as a teenager you figure yourself out. And then of course you've also gone back to tailoring because you've opened up a tailoring shop. I opened a tailor shop on Chase and Charles Street, um, in the midst of us doing this because I had a lot of tailoring clients from Nordstrom. And like, hey, look, I'm yeah, like, yeah. treason thing is great, <laughs> yeah, but, but I, I need a you. tailor. <laughs> it's like having that barber who's like, I'm yeah. not cutting hair anymore. And it's yeah. like, dude, really? <laughs> yeah. So um, slowly but surely it snowballed into something um, that's very, very, that's meaningful to not only myself, but um, to the city, you know? And the like, name of, and the name of your It's called show. Bushlers of Baltimore. Yeah. So um, the term Bushler is, uh, is the proper term for somebody who only alters clothing. So once a tailor, really? so once a tailor cuts cuts from scratch and builds all the garment, he obviously doesn't have time to shorten the sleeves yeah. and shorten the hem and all that kind of stuff. So you have a bushler who tweaks those things for you just oh, to make sure it's perfect. Oh, that's so interesting. So like a part of bushler is like I wanted to make sure that um, that I was as honest with the customer as possible. You're already juggling, you know. I mean, either one of these things is already a full time Absolutely. job. However. Absolutely. Do you have any leisure time and what do you do with it? So in my downtime, I do have my moments where like, the shirt I had for a long time, the pockets look better on this shirt. <laughs> really? <laughs> or the collar, or the collar yeah. is like, okay, and I wanna take the collar off and kind of get crazy. Or I might wanna throw patches all over something. I have my moments where I just kind of like, you know, I, I just, you know, do what I gotta do, but. So do you, what, do you move pockets around other shirts or do you create a whole new shirt? It's not creating a whole shirt, it's pretty much like Frankensteining, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, okay, so yeah, like, yeah. This sleeve on here looked better on a denim jacket, you know? Um, I wish I had the time to actually commit to making things from scratch like I right. used to, but um, for now it's just, you know, I think it's fun to kind of like recreate things, you know, like everything has its home, but over the years they change. Mm -hmm. 